Hey monkeys, it's Jim from Small Time Outlaws bringing you the first video in my tutorial series on using Mojo. Uh, with this video we're, we're just going to be embarking on our journey into the realm of the Mojo. And so if you don't know, Mojo is the module that comes with Monkey that contains all of the functionality we need to actually make our games, including drawing graphics, handling input from the player, and playing sounds and music, just name a few. And so to start out, we're just going to be creating a basic app that initializes the canvas for drawing. So I'll go ahead and open up your IDE, whichever one you use. If you notice, I actually switched to TED now, which comes with Monkey. Uh, you can use Monk or TED or whatever. And I'm going to create a new file real fast. I'm just going to call this Mojo. And you can call it whatever you want. Uh, we're going to be using the same file for all of these videos so don't lose it. Now the first thing we're do when using Monkey is import it. So we're just going to import Mojo or excuse me, the first thing we do we use a Mojo and now to set up our game or application we're going to create a class and you can call this class whatever you want in this case I'm going to call it my game and what this class has to do is extend the app class comes with Mojo, which is just app, capital A, two little P's. And I'll close this up. Now what this app class is, is just like the underlying engine for your game. And so when you create an instance of a class that extends it, the Mojo engine automatically starts calling methods in this class, which you have to override. So I'm going to go over those methods right now. So the first one you might want to set up is the onCreate method. And basically what the onCreate method is, it's just a method that's called once as soon as this class, as soon as you create an instance of this class. And then this is where you're going to set up all your initialization, create all your, load all your images, your sound files, everything. And so now the next one you might use is the onUpdate method. And but the on update method is just a method that's called as many times as you want it to, which will actually update your program. And this is where you will do like handle your input and handle moving your images around. If you, you know, if your game involves moving things around, that's where you'll actually do your movement and you know things like that. And the next method that'll be called automatically is the on render. And basically, this is where you're going to put all of your drawing commands in. This is really the only place you're drawing, well, it's one of two places that your drawing commands can go. It's the only place they can actually be called. And the next one you might be using is the on loading. And this is another method that you can use your draw commands in. And what's going to happen with this on loading is it's going to be calling, the Mojo engine is going to call on loading instead of on render while your while all of your assets are actually being loaded into memory. So this is where you put up your little loading screen and then when it's, it's done it's just automatically start calling on render and then you can do your menu screen or whatever there. And then the last two I'm just going to go over real quickly are the on suspend and on resume methods. And basically these are just called whenever your application is suspended or resumed. So this would be like especially with uh, mobile platforms if they go to a different app it's going to suspend your app or you know they go back to their home screen it's going to suspend your app or if it doesn't close it and so that'll be called when that happens and you can pause your game or whatever you need to do there and then when, it, when they go back to your app it'll call this on resume and then you can resume your game or, or your app or do whatever you need to do in there So let's go back to the on create. So I can show you the most probably the most important function in getting your apps initialized, which is the set update rate function. And you have to call this function pretty much. Your app won't run without it. And what you're gonna set in here is you want to set how many times per second you want your on update function to be called. And I typically do 60 in there. A lot of people do 30, it's just whatever your preference is, how fast you want 
your on update method to be called. Well, the reason I do 60 is because that's closest to how most most uh, programs render at, as it's the typical refresh rate of the monitor. And we're going to skip on update for now. So we're just getting set up with basic rendering. And so we're going to stick into our on render. And we're going to just clear the screen with some color. And so we'll use the CLS function. And this just clears the screen. And it takes three parameters. The first one being the amount of red you want to clear your screen with, which is a number from 0 to 255. 255 being the most red. And then an the next one is the green component again 0 to 255 and I'm going to go halfway for that and then finally blue so it's red green blue and I'm going to max out the blue so it's a nice light blue color and we'll skip the other three methods for now as well and now we finally need to create our main function and inside this main function all you have to do is create an instance of your class that extends app and your game will start running so we're just going to create a new my game you don't have to assign it to anything if you don't want you can just start it and it starts so i'm going to go ahead and build this and it says app not found and the reason that didn't run is because i called my file mojo <laughs> if you call your if you call your file mojo and then you import mojo, it's going to import itself. So, yeah, don't do that. Okay, so I changed I changed the file of my file the name of my file to mojo one and deleted the old mojo file. So now this should run just fine. And you see, there we go. We got our nice light blue screen. And that is our canvas. And our you see our console still down there. Oops. But yeah, you saw that. And that's it for this first mojo video. And in the next one, we're actually going to go over drawing some of our primitives, like drawing pixels and lines and circles and other shapes. So see you there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can email me at jim at smalltimeoutlaws.com or leave some comments down below. All right, see you later.